A former rock star dev has finally solved the mystery of the moon snipe Easter egg in GTA 3. If you shot at the moon, it would get bigger, but for years no one knew why. Obey Vermeer was a technical director at Rockstar from 1995 to 2009, and he has now explained why he built that particular egg into the game. The artist gave me a texture for the moon in 3. I placed the moon in the sky, made sure it was visible at night, and that it was a reasonable size. A few days later, four artists were at my desk asking me to change the size of the moon. It turned out they couldn't decide what the size of the moon should be. Two of them wanted it smaller to be more realistic. The other two wanted it larger to be more cinematic. I suggested to make the size of the moon changeable in the game. Since I was working on the sniper rifle, I made it so that the moon toggled through three sizes as the player sniped it. The artist never got back to me, so I just left it in. Streamer Sincerely Lin nearly threw up on Twitch after accidentally swallowing a spider in her coffee. What? What was... I think there was a spider. I have my coffee. <laughs> and I just Wait, in your actual IRL coffee? Yes. I. What do you That's mean? Gross. Don't lie. <laughs> it's an ick. <laughs> the first real look at the TV version of Fallout is out, and we get to see some of the main characters for the first time. There's Lucy, played by Yellow Jacket star Ella Purnell and her father, Hank, the vault overseer, who's played by Kyle McLaughlin. There's Walton Goggins as the ghoul, and a new character named Maximus, played by Aaron Moten. We now know Vault Boy makes an appearance in the show and he gets an origin story. We also know the storyline is officially part of Fallout lore. Todd Howard told Vanity Fair he considers the show canon. So fear not, purists. Apart from a full trailer that leaked last year, we'd only seen a few shots of the Fallout set until now. The show is out on Amazon Prime Video on April 12th. Ubisoft has explained how a Black Friday ad managed to get into Assassin's Creed Odyssey gameplay. The full screen pop-up for 20% off AC Mirage was spotted in Xbox and PlayStation versions of the game. It appeared just as players navigated to the map screen and it caused a little outrage. Nobody wants to get an ad every time they open up their map in a video game. And this is kind of like the worst case scenario of in-game ads where they're shoved into gameplay to pop up disruptively. Some predicted the end of the world as we know it, but Ubisoft blamed a technical glitch and says it's been fixed. The Mirage ad was meant to appear in the main menu of other Assassin's games, but a technical error meant it showed up on in-game menus instead. Is AI the reason this Silent Hill NPC is so bad? Silent Hill boss, aka Genvid CEO Jacob Novak, says no way. What are you doing out here? You could have been killed. I, I, I'm just foraging for wild berries, I swear. <coughs> Novak said, Every word in Ascension was written by real people. I've been rooting for berries and other things for several seasons. Uh -huh. Many of whom have long-running careers in writing. I like to make jams. <coughs> I sell them in town. <laughs> if this isn't written by an AI, I don't know what is. Across our 100,000 plus words, zero are authored by LLMs or AI. I guess I'll just be on my way then. Goodbye, berry man. 